pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, bro. Baby girl, watch how you move. What? I got the vest on my shoes. I'll pop a pill and I lose. Wait, speed it up. Look at the diamond. Hey guys, it's Natalia and I'm back with another video. And today we're gonna be doing this look. Please stay tuned. So please like, comment, and subscribe, and let's get started. The first thing I use is Shea Moisture, and I just spray all around my hair to dampen. You can also use a spray bottle with water, and it will work just as well as what I'm using. Then I just get a wide tooth comb and just start to comb my hair out. You want to start from the bottom and work your way down so you don't rip all your hair out. Then I just get a ragtail comb and part half of my hair, like the top half of it, across. So you can see how I'm doing it, just part it. It doesn't have to be a straight, straight line, but this is how I do. I start from the back of my ear and go all the way across to the other side of my ear. I'm just gonna take my comb and part the middle of my hair all the way until the part, the halfway part you already did. And the trick is if you have a widow's peak, go from the tip of your nose all the way up and that's where your center part is gonna be. Then I'm gonna just tie the other half I'm not gonna do right now and put it in a scrunchie ponytail. This part's kind of hard to explain, but you're just gonna go from the center of your head and split that section of hair you already um, are working on, and you're just gonna split that in half. That's basically what you're gonna do. You can watch what I'm doing. This process is easy. You just have to get your parts semi straight they don't have to be so straight but the straighter they are the better the hair style will look and then you're gonna be popping sis <laughs> then i just get a rubber band and part off the back because you're just gonna work with the front right now Basically now that front section that you just parted off, you're going to split these into four smaller sections in the front. just gonna use your eco styler and put some on the little ponytail and on the part that you're making so that it turns out more sleek looking and comes out neater then you just want to get a rubber band and make a little ponytail So basically you're just going to do this same thing you did for the rest of this row and there should be four little ponytails in this row. So now you should have four little ponytails in this one row. Now you're just going to do the same thing for the back part you sectioned off. You're just going to line them up with the same part you made for the little ponytails in the front. So it should be four in the back and four little ponytails in the front. Make sure you're not messing with the back half of your hair yet because that's the part we're gonna slick up into a ponytail later. So now you should have eight little ponytails on this half of your hair and we're just gonna put in a ponytail so we can work on the other half. And basically, you're just going to do the same exact process you did 
for this half to the other side. Now we should have a total of 16 ponytails, 8 in the front, 8 in the back. Just going to split it in half again and put those in a ponytail and just leave four little ponytails, two in the front, two in the back, and just section the other part off so it'll be easy for you guys to see how to crisscross the top. It's kind of hard to explain, but you're going to want to take the diagonal ponytail from the other side and you're just going to want to put that in a ponytail. Then you're just going to do that to the other side, so basically you're making an X. So you can just see how I'm doing it. I'm just going to take the opposite ponytail and connect it with the other one and just put a rubber band on it. So now you see that you have an X on the top of your head. See, as you can see. So I'm going to show you again. Basically, all you do is just take the opposite ponytail and connect it so that they're diagonal and you're just going to make an X at the top of your head. So basically you should have two section of X's now you're just going to do the same thing to the other side so that you have a total of four X's, section of X's I should say. So again just think about connecting the opposite ponytails the ones diagonal from each other and making it into one big X So now you want to take your wide tooth comb and just start to comb out the little ponytails and then comb out the back of your hair as well. Now you want to take your Eco Styler gel and then just put a good decent amount and just put it on the back of your hair so that it slicks up. Then you're gonna get a hard brush and just brush your hair upwards. Now you're just gonna wanna get a thin stretchy headband and just wrap it around your ponytail twice. Then you wanna slide it back so it forms a big puff. Don't get a thick one cause I wanna, I don't know about you, but I wanna keep people thinking that I got hair even though I don't, so wow. Oh, this is what it should look like. The back should be slicked up like this. Let's look at these ways, let's talk about it. And now I just take my braid clippy thingies and just um, put them on the X's I made okay this is optional by the way but if you want a little more pizzazz go ahead and add them on there
Then I just take Eco Styler, put some on my hand and put it on my ponytail so it makes my curls a little bit more defined. Just take my Cream of Nature Oregon Oil and my Ragtail Comb and do my edges. I swear that stuff is magical. It holds all day, sis. Like, let's talk about it. This is not an in-depth edge tutorial but if you want to see an edge tutorial go check out my how to slay your edges video <laughs> even though it's not the same type of edges i did in that video but if you want a part two comment down below This is basically the end of my video. If you liked it, please like, comment, and subscribe. And turn your post notifications on. And comment down below if you want more looks. But let's not forget, I'm gonna tie it, eh? I'm gonna tie it, eh? I'm gonna tie it, eh? If you like, go subscribe, eh? I